I read the most fascinating article. Tell me. Yes. America's most spoiled dog breeds revealed. Oh. Any dog living in our house. Yes. Um, people, I think 60% of people always think that the breed they have is the most spoiled because they like to think that they Spoil treat their dogs. them very, very much. But you'll be um, surprised to know that um, non-sporting dogs like Bulldogs, Boston Terriers, Terriers, and Shiba Inus are some of the nation's most luxuriated breeds. What's the number one most spoiled dog? Australian Shepherd, huh. Border Collie, or Corgi. Huh. Oh. The official dog of Her the, Majesty the, the Queen. Queen. Yeah. May yeah. she rest in peace. Huh. I thought it would be like Pomeranians, yeah. right? Or Shih Tzus. Oh, yeah. I know two Shih Tzus that would dispute this article entirely. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If we raised our children the way we yeah. raise these dogs, Aww. our... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. They have their sweaters on. Yeah. Oh, you think we ever sisters. got our kids matching sweaters for Christmas? <laughs> we go Lock hiking. them under the tree and say, yeah. come on, kids. If we go hiking in the mountains... They don't walk. They don't walk. They go, I, I carry. No, they don't yeah, walk. They, they are carried. They get carried in baby carriers for dogs. In defense of these dogs, it's at altitude. It's at altitude. It's like 10,000 feet. They can't breathe those little noses. You used to march our kids up to 13,000 feet. They were six, seven, eight years old. And they'd complain and you'd say, quit whining. Aww. They go to sporting events. They go to sporting events. Yeah. Go and they get blue. merch. They get merch. They, we take them to the beach. Oh. Oh, what a... See, yes, what you don't we see leash our we dogs food. on the beach because we're rule followers. Yes. <laughs> and then they hang out with us on the couch. They hang out on the furniture that Mark said dogs are never allowed on. <laughs> they don't shed. They don't shed. They sleep in our bed. <laughs> the, the, the thought of having a, a dog sleeping on your bed, I never thought I would, I would relinquish that, that line in the sand. You don't just have dogs sleeping on the bed. You... you invite the dog up to play now with I you do. on the bed. Yeah, now I do. I mean, yeah. I shot a video of you recently. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special. <laughs> Lena and I have a... Lena and I have a close bond. But, you know, what's so funny is, I remember... What do you remember? I remember very well you... I don't want to use the word threatening me because you couldn't really threaten me. You were living in Vancouver. <laughs> but you laid down the law. You put your foot down. You put your metaphorical foot down and you said, you will not, not bring another dog into that house. We already have a dog. She's old. We will not try. You, he made it about the older dog. You could traumatize her, okay? <laughs> now, at this point, Mark did not realize that I had moved Chewy into the marital bed. <laughs> because he had been living in Vancouver for quite a long time. Yeah. And, uh, and then during the pandemic, he got stuck in Vancouver and was forced to stay there. So not only did I move one dog into the bed, I got a secondary backup dog. <laughs> I got the air and the spare, if you will, and moved them both into the bed. Yeah, a yeah. dog. I remember, and and uh, Lena has, I guess it'd be like IBS, or, or she has irritable, irritable bowel, and um, she demonstrated that right quite often, a lot, when we first got her. And I was just like, ah, oh, I can't believe we've got this dog. But now she's better, and um, we're in love. Aww. We are in love. 